Hey, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I am Jabin Postal, and today at the grill, we're cooking up some crispy and delicious pepper garlic chicken wings that you're gonna love. I'm gonna put all the show notes for you in the description box below, so make sure to click them there to see everything that you need for this recipe. Also, if you like what we're doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. Now than that, let's get into the cook. So to get started with this pepper garlic dry wing, uh, we're first of all gonna need a couple pounds of wings. These are uh, already pre-split into our drums and our flats, and we just need to prep them now. And with this recipe, I'm gonna be keeping them as a dry wing, which means we want that classic crispy exterior, that crispy skin for these pepper garlic wings. So to do that, I'm gonna be making a type of dry batter uh, for these wings so they come out the way we want them. So to make our mixture to help make those crispy dry wings, let's first of all take uh, two tablespoons of uh, all-purpose white flour and place that into uh, our zip bag. Next is place uh, two more tablespoons of baking powder. We're just gonna kind of mix that, mix that together. Next, because this is a salt, pepper, garlic dry wing, we're gonna add our other ingredients. And so we're gonna take some salt. Uh, this is two teaspoons of salt. Pour that in. Then I'm gonna add another three teaspoons of black pepper. Then to that, I'm gonna add in one and a half teaspoons of garlic powder. And I'm just gonna mix this up thoroughly in the bag. Once this mixture is put together, let's grab our wings and place them directly into the bag. And this is where I'm gonna give them a thorough coating with this mixture. With our wings coated, we're gonna take one more step and add in about a, a tablespoon or two of uh, cooking oil. And this is just gonna help uh, with our rub and our salt and pepper to stick to the outside surface of these wings. Again, zip up the bag and we're gonna shake it again once more. One thing you'll notice after we've added that oil for the second shake is that the salt and pepper and garlic has now stuck onto these chicken wings, which means it's ready to go. So let's get them out of the bag in preparation for the grill. With these wings ready to go, let's get the kettle set up for cooking around 400 degrees. So to set up our grill, I placed in a full chimney basket of fully lit briquettes into the Sloan's here, as well as placed a single block of hardwood just to add a little bit of smoky flavor to these wings. With the grill now hitting around 400 degrees, let's go ahead and get these wings onto the grill. When you're putting your wings on the grill, just make sure to put them opposite the coals so that we're using an indirect cooking method. With our wings on the grill, I'm gonna close the lid and begin cooking these wings, making sure to flip them every 20 minutes until they're crispy and golden brown. Our wings have now been on for about 20 minutes, and so let's open up the grill and start flipping them. Now that the wings have all been flipped, let's close the lid while coming back every 20 minutes to flip. All right, so these chicken wings have now been cooking on the kettle for about an hour and 10 minutes, and they're about time to come off. Let's go take a look. You can see that they have a great golden color and the outside has a nice crispiness that's gonna taste amazing. So let's pull them off the grill and get ready for the taste test. So these crispy garlic pepper dry wings turned out incredible. The color is amazing. And that crispy outside is just phenomenal. And so let's go ahead and take a bite and see uh, what they taste like. Mmm. Man, those are, those are perfect. <laughs> You know, one of the great things about this style of wing is you can really dress them up for your guests. Uh, I have today some ranch dressing, uh, some buffalo sauce, as well as some barbecue, and either choice is gonna be uh, a great addition to, to these uh, garlic pepper wings. That said, I'm gonna dip into some barbecue sauce and enjoy the feast. So that's how you make those crispy and delicious garlic and pepper chicken wings for your next feast. Hey, if you like what we're doing on this channel, consider subscribing for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. And other than that, we'll see you next time.